Hey, this is Daniel for Adorama. This week on set, I want to talk about positioning your softbox to get different effects. I've got Tiffany here on set. We have the Pro Photo set up with a one foot by three foot strip softbox with a grid on it. That's going to give us a lot of control for a really dramatic portrait. And I'm going to have her work a profile. She's got a really nice profile. I've got my, uh, I'm using a Fujifilm camera, so I have the, the generic Pro Photo error mode on it. So it's not TTL in this case. So I'm just going to set up my exposure. The first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that when I'm shooting with flash, and I want to get a really dramatic shot that my flash is the only thing affecting my photo. So I set my shutter speed at 200th of a second and my lens at 5.6 and I took a shot in here and it was completely dark. The first thing I did is I positioned the strobe so it's right dead center on Tiffany's face. So we're basically lighting her directly from the center. Let's see what that looks like. Bring your chin up a little bit. Good, here we go. So as predicted, that creates a really nice photo. We see some shape to her face, but she's nice and well lit across the front. And because there's no ambient light affecting my shot, it goes completely dark behind her. It's really dramatic, very nice. Okay, so you can see here that I have the pro photo pretty much centered on her face. So I'm getting even light, dead center, and it falls off to black on either side, which is nice and dramatic. If I wanna make it even more dramatic, I can take my light and move it slightly further back. So when I do this, I've got the light hitting the, what is the back side of her face to my camera, and the front side now has a lot less light hitting it. So because I only moved the flash this way, I didn't move it further back or anything, my exposure should be the same. So I don't have to adjust my camera or anything, I'm just gonna shoot it like this. I am gonna turn off the modeling light just to make sure that doesn't affect my shot. Okay, so now we see in this shot that there's a lot more contrast, a lot, lot darker on the side of her face that's facing me. So it really falls into darkness. It's really much, much more dramatic. Okay, so now I'm gonna try the opposite. I'm gonna take the light and I'm gonna move it slightly in front of her. So basically, again, I'm gonna turn my modeling light on so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna move the light in front now so I can see that the whole front of her face is lit. Yeah. So at this point now, the whole side of her face towards the camera is completely lit. So if I wanna show that, I can see her earrings, I can see her ear, I can see more of her hair. So if I wanna show that in my shot, that really creates you know, a much more detailed image of that side of her face. And again, my exposure has remained exactly the same because I've only moved the box this way. Now, if I want just for a little bit extra effect, I could add a, a reflector in in the back just to kind of give a little separation. Dave can do that. So here we just have a standard Scrim Gym uh, small with the silver fabric. And we're gonna move it in. So in this case, we've got a little bit more separation in the background. It's not tremendous because of the angle of, of the flash, but it just gives you a little bit more so we can fully see into uh, you know, all the shadows that are on that side of her face. Okay, so now I've pulled the reflector out, we wanna try something. If we have Tiffany turn towards the camera, she's gonna be very heavily side lit, right? Because remember that I have a strip box here, and not only is it a strip box, it's got a grid on it, so it's got a really tight throw of light. So I'm going to focus in now, because she moved. Wow, okay, that's very, very dramatic, right? She's very side lit, really kind of cool uh, look, if you're going for that. If you wanted to get more light on the front of her face to make the light, we really can't move it any more forward because remember the box is very narrow. So if we move it more forward, we're just gonna lose all the light. But if we take our light, our strip box, and of course, because we're only shooting a headshot here, I'm gonna turn the modeling light back on so I can see what I'm doing. And I turn the strip box this way, right, sideways. I can now even move it forward a tiny bit more possibly even kick it over to the side a bit like this. And again, I'm keeping it the same distance from the model all the time. So my exposure should be the same. She's a little taller, so I'm gonna raise this. Okay, and we'll see what that looks like. So again, she's straightforward looking at the camera. But we can see now the light wraps around a little bit more into her face. So if we wanna accentuate that even more, we can bring that reflector back in. Because now we have some detail in her eye, but it's still very, very dramatic. Now when we're in the reflector back in, because so much more light's passing by her, it will be able to bounce off the reflector and give us a much better fill. Good, so we can see in the final image, we've got the whole front of her face lit because we have the softbox pulled forward and the reflector's coming in and giving some light on that side. So again, it's underexposed over here by a little bit because it's just bounced light, but it gives a nice even tonality across the whole face and a very dramatic portrait. So a softbox can be used to create a really dramatic light. And remember, by moving it around a different position, she'll be able to really control how much shadow and how much highlight you show in your image based on where the light is hitting your model. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next time on set.